this lesson is on predicting products involving precipitation. A precipitation reaction is a system where two reactants comprise of two aqueous solutions that when mixed results in the formation of precipitate for at least one of the products. The key in identifying the precipitate is by using the solubility rules. Let's take a look. This table here shows the ions that are mostly soluble in water. Salts containing alkali metal ions, including lithium ion and sodium ion, along with the ammonium ion, are soluble in water. Salts containing nitrate ions and acid ions are soluble in water. The questionable salt is AgC2H3O2 because some authors say it is soluble in water, but others say it is slightly soluble in water. Salts of chloride ions, bromide ions, and iodine ions are mostly soluble unless paired with silver ion, mercury one ion, or lead two ion. In that case, the compound is insoluble. Salts of sulfate ions are mostly soluble unless paired with calcium ions, strontium ion, barium ion, or lead two ion, which are insoluble. Silver ion is slightly insoluble in water when paired with sulfate ion. This table here shows the ions that are mostly insoluble in water. Salts of hydroxide ions and sulfur ions are mostly insoluble in water unless paired with any of the alkali metal ions or ammonium ions where it is considered soluble in water. Additionally, sulfite salts containing calcium ions, strontium ion, or barium ion are soluble in water. Hydroxide salts of calcium ions, strontium ion, or barium ion are considered slightly soluble in water. Salts of carbon ions, phosphate ions, chromium ions, oxalate ions, or fluorine ions are insoluble unless paired with any of the following, alkali metal ions or ammonium ion, where it is considered soluble in water. Here is review exercise one. Using the solubility table, determine if the following compounds are soluble or insoluble. A, B, A, C, O, 3, B, M, G, parentheses, N, O, 3, parentheses, 2, C, N, A, 2, S, O, 4, D, P, B, 3, parentheses, P, O, 4, parentheses, 2, and E, C, U, C, 2, O, 4. What are the guidelines in writing equations for precipitation reactions? One, write the formulas of the two compounds being formed from the ions present on the reactant side. Two, check the solubility table and determine if the salt is soluble or insoluble. Three, if both products are both soluble, then there is no reaction. If one of the products is a precipitate, then you must indicate the precipitate by writing S in parentheses after the formula and AQ in parentheses after the formula for the substance that is soluble in water in accordance to the solubility table. Four, if necessary, balance the chemical equation by adjusting the coefficients, not adjust the subscripts. Here is a video showing the formation of a precipitate lead to iodide from aqueous solutions of lead to nitrate and potassium iodide. Example one is to write a balanced chemical equation for the precipitate reaction that occurs, if any, when aqueous solutions of lithium sulfate and cobalt to nitrate are mixed. If no reaction occurs, write no reaction. The ions from the reactants are Li plus and SO4 two minus from lithium sulfate and CO2 plus and NO3 minus from cobalt to nitrate. The resulting products are LiNO3 and COSO4. For the salts, it is determined that LiNO3 is soluble in water because all nitrates and lithium ions are soluble in water. And additionally, COSO4 is soluble because most sulfates are soluble in water. The results of the products via the solubility table are LiNO3 aqueous in parentheses and COSO4 aqueous in parentheses. The unbalanced chemical equation is 
aqueous solutions of Li2SO4 and CO parentheses NO3 parentheses 2 results in no reaction and for the balanced chemical equation it is Na or not applicable. Example two is to write a balanced chemical equation for the precipitation reaction that occurs, if any, when aqueous solutions of sodium phosphate and copper two nitrate are mixed. If no reaction occurs, write no reaction. The ions from the reactants are Na plus and PO4 three minus from sodium phosphate and Cu2 plus and NO3 minus from copper two nitrate. The resulting products are NaNO3 and Cu3 parentheses PO4 parentheses 2. For the salts, it is determined that NaNO3 is soluble in water because all nitrates and sodium ions are soluble in water. Additionally, Cu3 parentheses PO4 parentheses 2 is insoluble because most phosphates are insoluble in water. The results of the prize via the solubility table are aqueous NaNO3 and solid Cu3 parentheses PO4 parentheses 2. The unbalanced chemical equation is aqueous solutions of Na3PO4 and Cu parentheses NO3 parentheses 2 forms aqueous NaNO3 and solid Cu3 parentheses PO4 parentheses 2. The balanced chemical equation is aqueous solutions of 2 Na3PO4 and 3 Cu parentheses NO3 parentheses 2 forming 6 aqueous NaNO3 and solid Cu3PO4 parentheses 2. Review exercise 2 is to write a balanced chemical equation for the precipitation reaction that occurs, if any, when aqueous solutions of the following pairs of solutions are mixed. If no reaction occurs, write no reaction. A, potassium chromate and lead to nitrate. B, ammonium nitrate and copper to sulfate. C, barium hydroxide and zinc chloride. And D, gold three chloride and sodium carbonate. For the main part of this lesson, our solutions to review exercises are problems. Please view only after completing these exercises.